My name is Michaela and I'm going to take you around our Hillhead student village today. Uh, we will be starting off in this little lovely outdoors area which is the turning circle where you're pretty much in the centre of the Hillhead village. What you can see behind me are some of the buildings where you might be staying in the future. So we've got for example Adams got um, Wavell and Fife buildings and we also have some more buildings that are going to pop up behind me. You can't see the entirety of the student village, there's actually over 2,000 different students who live in this area so there's a lot of different flats, a lot of different people to meet, a lot of different friends to make. We're going to start off in the central building which is just behind me um, and we're going to take you on a little tour around the indoors so let's go in! Right, so welcome to Central Building. What you can see behind me here is our little shop where you can buy all of your essentials, you can get um, your snacks, you can get some of your writing um, uh, like pens and you know anything that you might need. Um, and where you can also what you can find in this building as well is our reception, which is open 24/7 and that's just behind me here. The reception um, is there for you for any concerns that you might have. There are people there 24 seven who can help you if you lock yourself out of your flat. They can also help you um, if, for example, one of your light bulbs goes burst and you need to replace 24 seven a day. They're also here to provide security. So you'd never have to be too worried about, you know, being secure on this campus because there is always going to be someone around here. The central building is also a great place to meet with your friends. So if you, for example, you know, have friends who live in a different building and you don't necessarily want to come and hang out in their bedroom, you can always come here and hang out in one of these nice areas which are made for students for this purpose of meeting. What you can see downstairs here um, is a couple of our catering outlets which are uh, located straight in the Hillhead village. One is the works, which provides food for um, breakfast, lunch and dinner. And there's also a little bar next to it. They also often broadcast uh, football matches and um, have different like trivia nights and that sort of stuff. And that usually happens in the bar, bar area. If you have a catered contract um, and your food is provided for you, this is where you would go for your meals, for example, if you are if you happen to be around during lunchtime, or you can also just get catering from anywhere. You don't have to eat here. This area is just sort of a social area, and I'm going to take you into one of the meeting rooms that we have available uh, for you. So there's a number of different rooms. Some of them you have to book in advance. Um, some of them are a little bit sort of first come, first serve basis. This is one of the ones where you can meet with a society, um, you can just train, you know, practice for a presentation. And there is also a printer, which is available 24 seven, which is crucial, something that you don't think about. Um, and then you worry about it too much. You don't have to buy a printer to go to university. You can just use one of the many ones that are available here in this building. Right, so let's go downstairs. This is the lower floor of the central building. The bar and kitchen area is just on my right here. What we're passing as well on my left is um, the sort of gym area, which is where there's a lot of different um, yoga classes. You might have, you might book it for a society uh, or a sports club. And currently it's not being used because of social distancing, but usually you would be able to just come in there and, you know, and do some cartwheels if you want it. Uh, it's quite a flexible space. We're going to take you to another flexible space where you can just come and hang out, which is the community center. So usually this would be unlocked and you wouldn't need your card to get in. Right, so this is a really lovely sort of homely area. You've got a music room here which is soundproofed, so you can come here and practice if you're a music student or even if you're in a band. As you can see, there's quite a lot of different musical events that happen here, so you can always practice your um, piano playing in that room. Now this is my favorite part. 
this is where it really feels like your living room. You've got a little bookcase here with tons of different books that you can borrow and read. You've got a pool table. There's a lot of DVDs that you can watch with your friends. You know, you can just hang out here. Um, there's a TV on the wall, which this is just sort of a special hangout space. However, there's also a TV room where they actually do screenings. If they do screenings of, for example, Disney movies, have a Disney night, that's where they would screen them. This is a sort of a little crafty corner. Um, the student residence assistants who are here um, during the night time, they organize all of these events and they're also available just if you want to have a little chat. For example, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all the different, um, uh, if you have a lot of assignments, you can then come here and chat with those student residence assistants. But this is also another space that is just really here for you to um, take advantage of. There's a lot of different crafts that go on here. Usually in a normal time, um, this would be a community kitchen. However, right now they're using this for crafts area. Um, you can see behind me there that this is actually a community kitchen where you would have people from different societies meet up. For example, I know the Spanish and Latin American society might often have like cooking nights. Um, the the um, student residence assistants also have different, um, for example, budget cooking uh, classes to help you get settled in into your new independent life. And this is just a really lovely area with a lot of different TVs, a lot of different gadgets where you can make yourself feel more at home. So this is sort of a quick run through through the main building. We're now going to go outside and have a look at three different flats that we've had prepared for you. Alrighty, let's get going to our first flat. Our first flat will be in Carnegie Court, which is one that you guys always ask about. It is the one with an ensuite bathroom. What we're passing on the way though um, is our Adam Smith accommodation. That is the one building where you have to have a catered card to live there. So if you're living here, um, everyone else in the building will also have a catered card, which allows you to buy food across the campus in any of the catering uh, outlets that the university owns. It is laid out in the same way that Fife and Wavell are. Um, they are laid out similarly. However, you do not have to have a catered card for one of those flats. So here, what you can see behind me is New Carnegie. It is one of the newer buildings. However, actually all of our flats have been just recently redone completely. So it is not, you know, a contest about who gets to live in the newest building. All of the flats are really nice and have been done up really nicely. We're going to show you another two after this one so that you can see the sort of different options that you have. You can also see there's ample parking. Um, parking at Hillhead is free, so if you do decide to bring your car to campus, you can always leave it here when you go to classes. It is not advisable to try and drive to Old Aberdeen because it's such a historic area that actually there's like no parking whatsoever. So always best to leave your car up here where there's free parking. So as you can see as well, if you do have a bike that you want to bring to university, there is a number of different bike racks uh, which are lockable as well. So if you do want to store your bike in one of these, you can always ask the porters for a key and that way your bike is secure. We're going to go into the hillhead um, hill halls now. You do get your own key which allows you to get in. Yes. Here we go. And we're going to flat four to seven. Okay, so this is, as I mentioned, one of the options where you have your own bathroom. So let me show you one of the rooms that sorry I show you one of the rooms where you could stay 
So this is your ensuite. This is where you would This is where you would be responsible for your own cleaning of your own bathroom, of course. Um, here is your bed. This bed is actually two thirds double. So it's slightly larger than your regular single bed. However, it is just slightly smaller than your um, double bed normally. So you get a little desk, um, you get a chair, you don't have to bring that. You do get a lamp as well. So. Um, and there's a mirror on the wall. So there are things that you do not have to bring, including, you know, storage areas and that sort of thing. However, if you are after any extra storage or um, you want to bring, like, for example, bedding, that would be up to you to bring. All right, let's get back out. You can have, you see me uh, using the card to get in. So that would get you into your own bedroom. Um, there are other bedrooms as well. So there's five in um, each flat and then you have a kitchen slash living area at the, at the end of the hall. So this living area is quite nice. Um, it does include a little, little um, hangout area over here. There's no TV that you might see. Um, that is because you actually have to bring your own if you do want to have a TV in your flat and you do have to make sure that you secure your TV license. However, as I spoke about before, there are TVs in the main building where you can just hang out with your friends. You can see there are appliances here. So there will be appliances such as microwave, there will be toaster, kettle um, and two fridges that you share with your flatmates. You do have to bring your own cutlery and your own um, mugs and everything else that you might want. Let me show you. Let me show you these cupboards as well. There's quite a lot of storage in your cupboards, so you know you don't have to worry about fighting for cupboard space. There's a there's a lot. There's also um, an oven. Uh, no, an oven. There's also um, a stove. So anything that you might need is actually available here. And the two fridges are really helpful as well because they are just right here. Um, you can share them with your flatmates. Right, let's get to another flat um, in one of the other buildings. Okay, let's go on into Grand Court. Grand Court is one of our mid-range options where you still do get sort of the flat layout and the flat feel. However, it is um, it does not have an ensuite, so it is a bit more but you're friendly, I suppose. Right, let's go in. Again, you get one of these cards to get in and they only let you into your own flat. So we're going to see one of these rooms. Again, you use your card, your student card to get in. So, as with the flat before, you do have your bed, your chair, your wardrobe included. Um, you do have to bring your own bedding and any decorations that you are interested in. However, it is a good base, so you definitely don't have to worry about lugging heavy furniture along with you. It is nice sized um, space. You definitely do not really need more. Um, this is your base for where you will possibly study, where you will sleep, but there are so many other spaces within the university halls where you can relax and meet people. So if this feels quite small, don't worry too much about it. Right, let's go have a look. And um, there are other flats. There's this flat is laid out with five bedrooms. So you can have those, you know, you saw those along the way. There is a toilet, there's a sink room, and then there is a shower stall room, which George is going to show you. So again, you're responsible for cleaning these yourself um, because you know this, these are within your own flat and you do share the responsibility with your flatmates. So you just need to make um, a schedule of who's cleaning when. Now let's get into the living slash kitchen area. So it is quite compact. However, it is a really lovely space. You do get a little um, area for eating here. Um, there is all your um, key 
um, areas that you need for cooking. You know, you've got your microwave, you've got your shared um, fridge and freezer. There's also a little couch um, hangout area. Again, if you wanted to bring a TV, you would need to make sure that you pay for your TV licensing. However, it is just a really nice space to hang out with your friends if you ever um, you know, want to meet up and don't want to go necessarily into the main building together. So um, there are also these lockable um, spaces. So this would be, there's five of them, so one for each room. These are ideal for storing your precious Nutella jars. Uh, if there's anything that you want to make sure no one else can get to, these are definitely good. They come with a little lockable bit. All right, so let's go visit our third and last flat in North Court. So we're now going into our third flat that we're going to see today. This is in North Court. It is still quite near all of the other areas, but it's a bit more secluded than your other halls. Right. A lot of our halls actually do have an option for um, if you want to live with people with this in, of the same gender or if you want to live in mixed gender flats, that's a possibility. There's also quiet blocks and mature student blocks. I believe this might be one of the quiet blocks. Right. So here you actually have a key. There are two sort of bathroom areas. One is a toilet only room and um, then there's another shared toilet slash uh, shower room. Again, in this flat you share with this one actually is three other people, so it's a four person flat. We have a room that we can show you back here. As a standard, all of our rooms come with, you know, your main furnishings. This room actually does have a sink as well. Um, and it does have a lovely view over the surrounding Seaton Park area. It's quite lovely. If you do also know anyone that you want to live in your flat with, for example, someone from your school who's going to University of Aberdeen as well, you can request to be put in the same flat. So that way you know someone when you come to Aberdeen. Right, let's have a look at the kitchen area. Again, the kitchen area is shared. You sort of have your little living area here. Lovely space for hanging out if you want to have friends around and then the shared kitchen area. There are actually four different little fridges here. Each room and each building might be set up slightly differently. However, you will always have more than enough space for your kitchen appliances. And again, you've got um, lockable cupboards. Um, there are a lot of different options for any budget. So depending on what your budget is, you can have a look at our website and each building will have um, pictures, 360 pictures of the accommodation of the shared spaces as well. So if you are interested in a building and in a room that we didn't show today, you can go on our website and search accommodation and you will be able to find all the latest information as well as the prices and the 360 photos to give you a better idea of what your halls would look like. But majority are set up like this, where you have your own little flat with a three, four other flatmates and you have your shared living spaces, which you are responsible for cleaning yourself. Right. There's also one thing that people often ask us about, which is laundry. So we're now going to go to one of the two laundry areas that we have in Hillhead and show you how those work. So we're going to now show you how they look. It is a very um, simple system. This is the smaller of the two. Um, the other one is located at the other end of the Hillhead campus so that you never have to go too far. There's a number of different washing machines and drying machines as well. Um, you can check online which ones are in use and then you come over here, you have a little refillable card where you then, you just tap your card on one of the machines to pay for your cycle. I believe that it is £2.80 for a washing cycle and I think it is £1.70 for a drying cycle. So obviously you don't have to wash and dry, you can just wash. Um, if it's a nice day outside, you might be able to dry your stuff in your room quite easily. They are also massive machines. So what you can do is share your load with your flatmates and wash at the same time. Then 
you can leave your stuff. As you can see, people leave their laundry bags here. Um, they go back to their room, and you can check online and see what you know if um, washing machine number 32 is still running and how long it has left. So then you come back here straight for your cycle finishing. Um, I have never in my year here encountered any issues whatsoever, um, but there's also all these different helpline numbers. There's also an app that you can download on your phone to see you know, um, how long you have left on your cycle and also if you have any issues. So this is the laundry room. And as I said, there's two of them. And you know, it's a really simple way of keeping your laundry clean while also not having to drag it too far. So yes, this is it. Thank you for joining us for our Hillet accommodation tour. You can find other campus tours on our website, which is linked on the screen. See you soon.